right, class. Before we finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. N no, wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Nasha, but we're still short of a few vital parts. Water. Um, 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 um. Ah, just that ticket. Spick and span. Um, 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 um. What? Who? How? Dennis! So, uh, <sighs> finished making your robot yet, Walter? Actually, I sent my design to a friend of father's. His factory people built it for me. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. He's arrived. Dennis, meet Walterbot. A pile of junk. Wait till you see my robot. Hey, Denbot! Interesting. What do you think, Walterbot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good, but what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden and household chores, from digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Dembot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp, easy peasy. Wow, that's cool. Dembot rock. Denbot rocks. That is so not cool, Denbot. Look at my car. You can count yourself grounded forever. What was that? Allow me to present Walterbot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Close. Finished. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped-up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task! Your 
robot caused all the... Hey, what was that? It's Waterbot! He's all right! No way! That's Denbot! Oh, no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's... it's a Walter Denbot! You mean a Den Walterbot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school is good! School is good! School is good, eh? He takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. What to stop it? I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry, I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get Pie Face and meet me there. And bring your science projects. Going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, Pie Face, and you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie Face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Get ready for action! Go for it, Pie Face! One pie for me. <coughs> One pie for Robert! <coughs> Must go to school! School is good! OK, guys. Don't let me down. <coughs> <coughs> They work! They actually work! Ow! Oh, a bit too well. We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom. Treehouse. You are a complete philosophic. You are a total swap. Ignoramus. Twist. Sus. Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too. And I've got a reputation to think of. Stop moaning, Walter. If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs. Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. No, I am Walter Bot. Don't like school. <sighs> oh, now, nice pot of tea. Check. Plenty of cream cakes. Check. Box of tissues. Check. Oh, all set to watch my lovely old-fashioned romance movie. 
<sighs> Dearest Nigel, don't ever leave me. Oh, Felicity, don't speak. Just oh, a full-on body slam. Then a spinning bulldog. You don't mind, do you, Mum? It's wrestling, live from Beano Town Conference Centre. Yes, I do mind. Give me that. But, Mum, Mr. Magnifico's on. He's our favourite. Yay! I don't care. It's a lovely afternoon. Go and play outside. Oh, hello, dear. Looking forward to the rubber band and paperclip dinner tonight? Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Just going through my speech? Mm-hmm. Apparently Hiram Big Bucks himself is going to be there. Really? The company owner? At the dinner? Yes. And my boss, Mr Scrimp, says that if my speech doesn't go down well, I'll be demoted to the drawing pin division. That's nice, dear. So if I can just turn this down a bit while I practice... Excuse me, I was watching that. It's lovely out. Go and practice your speech in the garden. Was it not Shakespeare who said, a rubber band, a rubber band? Twisty Tornado, you and the Pie Man of Doom better watch out. Here comes the Prime Minister and the Nasherizer's special move, the Flying Fangling with Twist. My kingdom for a rubber... dog. Nasher! Of course, darling. How could they not? You're young. Oh, goodness, what now? All right, let me see. Oh, Nasha, you better take him to the vet, Dennis. All right, Mum. See ya. And you, back in the garden. Now. Yes, dear. Right away, dear. Put two drops in its water and your goldfish won't feel off colour for long. Right then, young man. What seems to be the problem? Uh, it's his tooth. He had a bit of an accident. Hmm. No problem. You wait here and I'll take a look at him. Now then, let's see those teeth. Goodness me! Let me know which one's sore. <coughs> yeah. I think we've found the little rascal. <coughs> Nasha! What's she doing to me, best mate? Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm just going to give him something for the pain. Now, hold still. I'm going to knock you out with a little laughing gas. I don't think so. Hooligans! Sorry, Dudley, it's an emergency! I'll give it back later! <sighs> you little pests! You just wait! <laughs> yeah. Oopsie! We should be able to lose the dentist in here! Oh, wow! Nasha, can you believe where we've ended up? It's the conference centre where the wrestling's on! Yes. Look, it's Mr Magnifico! Yes. Yes. Right, where are those menaces on wheels? Uh-oh! In here, Nasha! Just a wild guess, Nasha, but I'd say Dad's firm are having their dinner here. Let's see if we can find him. <gasps> Maybe not. Quick, under the table. Uh, Mr Big Bugs and I are looking forward to your speech. What's his name? Last year's speaker was brilliant. Uh, who was it again? Oh, yes, me. Oh. <laughs> Are you all right, Nasha? I'm not surprised you've got indigestion. The cylinder's probably leaking. A 
Pray silence for the manager of the rubber band and paperclip division. Uh, what's his name? Go on, dear. You'll be fine. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honour to be in the presence of some of the legends in the world of rubber bands and paperclips here tonight. Hang on in there, Nasha. With a bit of luck, Dad's speech will send them to sleep. Of the first coated paperclip. Nasha! Corrosion resistant and yet maintains the malleability of the standard metal non coated variety. Of course, both rubber bands and paperclips play a vital role in the fashion world of Many people I know have a small pot upon their desk in which they keep a selection of rubber bands for a situation which may arise which they have not yet worked out. And that is why I firmly believe that we in the rubber band and paperclip community should stick together. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. Stick together. <laughs> And, you know, well, thank you very much. I, I didn't think it was that funny, but it's actually funnier than I thought. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you. That's too much. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> the hairy bat attacked me. It was a mistake, Mr. Scrimp. He didn't mean to. <laughs> Please don't send me to the drawing pin division. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Do excuse us, gentlemen. <laughs> nice speech, Dad. <laughs> Behind here! <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I get hold of the little pest! <laughs> <laughs> and his horrible dog! <laughs> <laughs> So, you think I look funny, do you? I'll have you know that I designed this costume myself. <laughs> no one laughs at Mr. Magnifico! <laughs> Stop it, bro! <laughs> Mr. Scrimp, Mr. Big Box, <laughs> how can I ever apologize? Uh, 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 apologize? What for? Great, <laughs> wonderful conference, Scrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Big Box. <laughs> 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 Great speech, what's his name? <laughs> In fact, funniest speech I ever heard. <laughs> Make sure this man gets a bonus. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> would this be a good time <laughs> to ask you for tickets to the wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> Tickets! <laughs> of course, Dennis! <laughs> Here, you'll need money for drinks and eat, too! <laughs> Take me wallet! <laughs> and now for the main event, ladies and gentlemen, defending world champion Mr. Magnifico versus the fearsome face dancer, Freddy Fernandez! Magnifico looking for a way in, but, but wait, <laughs> something seems to be the matter with Magnifico. He's, he's laughing. Fadoo is laughing. <laughs> oh, oh Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
you're doing. <laughs> yes, you know I hate bees. Oh, sorry, Dad. It was just a bit of fun. The sort of fun we can do without, Dennis. Oh, I'd blame that new joke shop. Yes, stay away from it. Do something sensible for a change. All right. I'll take Nasha for a nice walk. <laughs> The Jack Shop! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ha Ha! Dennis, good to see you again. You too. So, what's new? Ah, vampire chattery teeth. <laughs> With a difference. <laughs> Added bad breath. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, hello, Mother. Oh, yes, Mother. No, Mother. Oh, of course, Mother. What's wrong? My Mother, she's flying into Beano Town this morning, which means she's going to find out I run a joke shop. So, what's the problem? When she gave me money to set up a business, she thought I was a... Vet. If she finds out the truth, I'll have to close down. <gasps> close the shop? No! I'm afraid so. Unless... <gasps> we turn this shop into a vet for the day! You mean, play a trick on my mother? <laughs> well, well, I mean, that would be... Fun? <laughs> Curly, get pie face and get down to Mr Ha Ha's. We've got an emergency. Mother, quick, hide! Mother! Hello, Hardy. Uh, welcome to my practice. Uh, how, how was your journey? The flight was bumpy, the taxi was smelly. This is it? Yes? You don't seem very busy. Uh, I'm expecting my assistant to bring in a patient any second. That's us! Come on, Nasha! Ah, there you are. And who is this little fellow? Uh, uh, Nasha. And what seems to be the problem? Uh, uh, pointy arrowitis. Ah, oh, yes. Pop him on the table. Surely there's no hope. Shouldn't you just put him out of his misery? <laughs> Let's see. A uh, mallet, a clamp. <laughs> Mr. Ha Ha, I think we need an anaesthetic. Let us begin. Uh, Mother, you'd better sit down. Uh, tweezers. Check. Lights. Check. Dramatic music. Check. Then I'm going in. Ooh. That's one. Oh, yeah. And then there. Oh, oh. Oh. Last one. It's going to be tricky. <gasps> Don't lose it now, Doctor. Now to wrap up. There. Right as rain. <laughs> the treatment, won't he? D oh, yes. Yes, say, in a, a week or two. Well done, Hardy. You've saved him. <sighs> We've got a problem, Den. Look outside. <laughs> Oops. Uh, uh, we're closed. Closed? Oh, do your job, Hardy. Save these poor animals now. Oh, yes, Mother. Um... Telescope! Telescope? Uh, telescope? Hmm. Uh, he's cross-eyed. Hey! Uh, 
he's suffering from the uh, concentric pupils. We've got just the thing. He might have, uh, um... Uh, low... Low... volume? Low volume... Mm, maximosis! Exactly! Uh, he's lost his voice. Try this, Mr. Ha Ha! Of course, a uh, thermometer. Classic case of nippy rodent syndrome, wouldn't you say, Mr. Ha Ha? Oh, definitely. Yes, a, a very bad chill. No problem. This will warm him up. I'm very proud of you, Hardy. Now, give me a tour of Beano Town so I can show off my clever son. Oh, yes, Mother. Dennis, help! Dr. Ha Ha, what about our vet school? Vet in training, uh, that's us. Oh, yes, eager to learn. More school? <gasps> Hardy, you've got little apprentices. You're so dedicated. Go. Teach. <clears throat> Oops. And who is this? I'm the local vet, and I've been getting a lot of dissatisfied customers. <gasps> ah. May I suggest, Mr. Ha Ha, that you stick to what you know. Go back to running a joke shop. I can't believe my ears. A joke shop? Can this really be true, Hardy? You run a joke shop? But it's the best shop in town, Mrs. Ha Ha! My favourite! Please don't be angry. Fooling you was my idea. Angry? I'm shocked! Hardy Ha Ha, you always said you wanted to be a vet! Mother, that was when I was five. But can you honestly say that you're happy? Larking about in a joke shop? We're all happy in the shop, Mrs. Ha Ha, aren't we? Oh, oh yes. yes! I suppose if you're happy, that's all that really matters. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gawping. Show me everything! <laughs> Results! Oh, well, if you'd like to come this way, Mother, here we have a drawer full of fake doggy doo doos. <laughs> That's always a winner. Uh, of course, the bigotry, wigs, hats, itchy powder, whoopee cushions. <laughs> 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 popularity rock in a bag. Oh, it's a winner. <laughs> oh, dear. It's oh, hilarious. Dennis, I thought I told you to stay away from this joke shop. But, Mum! Oh, please don't be too hard on him. Boys will be boys and they all like a joke. And some of these things are quite amusing. <laughs> Very amusing, in fact. <laughs> Mum, there's stuff everywhere. What's going on here? <laughs> We're having a spring clean. Oh, good. Then perhaps you can help me find my teapot. I think I left it here last time. All right, Gran. Dennis, you can fill this box with stuff for the charity shop. But it's Saturday. And after that, tidy your room. You too. Go on. 
Oh! There's stuff here I haven't looked at for ages. Magnifying glass, sunglasses, notebook, old brown coat. <laughs> How to crack crimes and solve mysteries. <laughs> the mystery is why I bought the book in the first place. How to solve mysteries? Cool! There. Oh, now for a sit down and a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes. Did you find my teapot? Well, you can't miss it. It's bright red. Oh, I think I might have put it in the charity box out the back. What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about, sweet cheeks. <laughs> oh, where's my teapot? It's a mystery. A mystery, eh? Sounds like a job for Dennis P.I. He what? <laughs> Private investigator. Here to solve the mystery of the missing teapot. <laughs> this afternoon, I'm supposed to be having tea with a gentleman I haven't seen for 36 years. Oh, and I really need this particular teapot. Well, I'd say there's a good chance your teapot has been swiped, snaffled, stolen! <coughs> Do you have anything that might help us pick up the scent? What about this old tea bag? Aha! Perfect! Cop a whiff of that, natural pal, and she, if you can't, sniff out the culprit. Treehouse! Who keeps doing that? Right, that's warmed us up. Ready for the Colonel's tea party. <coughs> nice work, Nasher. Looks like the trail might end right here. <coughs> So that's what Nasha was after. Hey, that's my pie. But you can see everything from up here. Pie face, have you seen anyone with a red teapot? What was it like again? You know, like... And red. Oh, yeah. I saw someone with one of those. And what did this person look like? Well, it was a boy with black hair, uh, shorts, and a big smile. That can't be right. You're describing me. Uh, OK. Uh, he had tidy hair uh, and glasses. Oh, and a bow tie. <laughs> I think we found our thief. Tom ti tom ti tom tom. tra <laughs> Aha! Hand over the teapot, Walter. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, I know you've got it. Dennis, hang on. You're going about this all the wrong way. Thank goodness one of you is making sense. <laughs> <gasps> OK, teapot rustler, where's the loot? If you don't tell us, the flower gets it. Right, Nipper? Yes, yes. Teapot? Loot? I don't understand. Don't play the fool with me. A reliable witness claims to have seen you with my best red teapot. Uh, Gran? Ah, here, boy. <coughs> if it's a teapot you're looking for, Mrs Creature has a vast collection. Uh -huh. <sighs> <sighs> This is the life, nice and quiet, a pot of tea and no... Dennis! What are you doing in school on a Saturday? I might ask you the same question. Teaching doesn't recognise weekends. Is that right? So what can you teach me about this teapot? That? Oh, it's nothing. Just a teapot. Hmm. Could be a respray job. Whoopsie! No! OK, OK. It's my second best teapot. That's all. Second best? You have more than one? Sure. I've got lots of teapots. 
<laughs> we're not just looking for any teapot. We're looking for... <laughs> one like this. <laughs> this is not my teapot. No, but that's my steak. Why would anyone keep a steak in a teapot? Oh, it was frozen. I put it in there to thaw out. But if you've lost a teapot, try the Colonel. He's having a big tea party. Thanks, Dollface. But you're not out of the frame until we found our teapot. So don't even think about doing a runner and leaving town. I mean, thanks, Mrs. Creature. Sorry, you can't come in here uh, to Colonel's orders. No, Dennis. Oh, come on. Since when did you take orders from the Colonel? Well, ever since he promised me a slap up tea. Dainty sandwiches cut up all nice, cream slice, lemon drizzle cake, and sticky buns with sprinkles. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm an investigator. We're on the same side. Solving mysteries, busting crooks, enforcing the law. No, Dennis. That's the law. And, and, and definitely no dogs. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sergeant. Oh, you do look well today. Oh, why, uh, thank you. I might say the same about you. <laughs> oh, splendid hat, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'll be sure to save a bun or three for you, Sergeant. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one! Come back you All that dog of yours sniffed out with some sausages. But no teapot. That's right, no teapot. Then we're all out of clues. Nothing else to do but go back and re-examine the crime scene. So, what about your tea date? Oh, I guess I'll just have to keep him waiting for another 36 years. No way! We have to get to the bottom of this. Wait! Look! The teapot! The teapot! No! What are you doing? Oh, Gran! I'm really sorry! Oh, it's all right, Dennis. You see, it wasn't the teapot I was after. It was what was inside the teapot. <laughs> My best choppers! <laughs> oh, just in time! Here comes my date! Hello, sweet cheeks. Oh, I can recognise that smile a mile away. Butch over a beagle! Thanks, oh. <laughs> Dennis! Oh, you're a brilliant investigator! It's been a blast! It sure has! Sweet cheeks! It all started with a missing teapot. Save it for when you've tidied your room, Dennis. Like I asked you to do this morning. Oh, parents. That's one mystery I'll never solve. Oh. Well, Dennis, I think you got off quite lightly, considering. Let me see now. While setting the world speed record for three boys and a dog on one skateboard, you managed to terrify Walter and mess up his sweater, <laughs> flatten Parky Bowles' prize roses, and turn yourselves into human pin cushions. Sorry, Mum. Well, I've calmed Parky and Walter down and I've offered to wash Walter's sweater, 
but be more careful in future, OK? Now run along, all of you. Thanks, Mum. And there's some chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. Your mum's so cool, Dennis. She's always standing up for you. Yeah, I bet you've got her something really great for Mother's Day, haven't you? Eh? Mother's Day? I made my mum a vase. Well, more of a pie dish, really. Curly, when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow, of course. Oh, no! <laughs> Super emergency fund! How am I going to get Mum a Mother's Day gift? I know! She likes music! I'll write her a Mother's Day song! Let me see. Uh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mum, you're so cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, you really rule. Any ideas? Uh, na, na, na. Brilliant! Yeah, Mum! You're so cool! Oh, yeah! You really rule! For goodness sake, Dennis, you'll wake B up! Stop that horrible racket at once! So she doesn't like music after all. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> the drawing board? Yeah! Curly, weren't you top of the class in Mrs Creature's last art test? Well, yes, but, uh... a crick in me neck. Won't be much longer, then. You can't hurry art, you know. <laughs> What's that? I'm quite like it. That's because it doesn't look like me. It looks like a pie. It's not my fault. Even Leonardo da Vinci couldn't paint properly if he was being attacked by fleas. I can't give it to me, Mum. We'll have to think of something else. Everything we need for cheesecake or a pie face. Your mum will love it. OK, let's get going. Yeah. Really good pie face. What now? We have to leave it to set. Put it on the shelves. Dennis! <laughs> ah, there you are. It's supper time, OK? Hmm, <laughs> pity. It would have been the best yet. about borrowing some flowers from the Colonel's garden. Forgot a gift for Mother's Day? Yeah. That's bad. Your dad always gets me something nice. So, when Dad was a boy, what would you have liked him to get you? <laughs> well, he was a bit of a menace too, you know. I'd have been happy if he'd just kept out of trouble. Of course! That's it! Gran, you're a genius! The trick. This will be a Mother's Day Mum will never forget. Good dad. Good mum. There you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh! What's this then? <laughs> oh! Wow! A Wayhe Games console! Oh! And the latest game for it! Superbike GP Battle of the Champions! Oh! Thanks, son! See what it got me? Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day, Mum. Dennis, how lovely. I didn't think you'd remember. Of course.
course I did, Mum. And for your present, I'm going to stay out of trouble for a whole day. Well, that would be nice. Dennis, stay out of trouble? I'll believe it when I see it. Well, just stay in my room, OK? I can't get into any trouble there. you what, Nasha. We'll just practice a few skateboard tricks. about Dennis. <laughs> good, good. Tell you what, best of three. You're on. of getting into trouble there. <laughs> this is cool, Nasha. A total trouble-free zone. <laughs> oh, no! The window! <laughs> oh, only just... Hey, Dennis! We're going fishing in the park. Want to come? Yeah! Great idea! A nice quiet afternoon's fishing in the park, Nasha. I mean, it's not like skateboarding, is it? What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Everything all right, dear? Still feeling relaxed? Mm, yes. Oh, almost too relaxed. Here goes! Hey! My hat! Hey! Must be caught on a root or something! So then he said, Pardon me, Al! Is that the car that you did your shoes? Mr. You're so witty. Ah, ah, I can't see. Oh, oh. My hat, my flowers, my bike, my boat. But we were having such a lovely afternoon. How did all this happen? for staying out of trouble. Oh, oh, Nineteen wins in a row! Oh, thanks, son. It's been the best Mother's Day ever. My pleasure, Mum. How about you, dear? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh, yes. It's been so peaceful and quiet. Well, the day's nearly over, so you better brace yourself. Dennis, I'm guessing this is the end of Mother's Day, then? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mum. Normal service has been resumed. Oh, Dennis. Yes. Now, let's all just come. Like my tricks really livened up the family day at your dad's work. <laughs> I knew I'd find you here. It's my boss, Mr. Scrimp. He wants both of us to report to his office right away. 
Oh, dear. I knew I shouldn't have taken you to the family day. Coming. Ah, what's his name? I want a word with this son of yours. So, young what's-his-name, was it you who put soap flakes in the cistern of the executive toilet? Me? I'm sure it was some sort of mistake. Quiet, what's-his-name. I'm talking to the boy. Hmm. And are you the same little rascal who put wind-up piranha fish in the water cooler? Stick out your tongue, Miss Jones. Yeah. <laughs> but that was just... Fair enough. It was me. Had to liven things up a bit. This place is so boring. No. <laughs> Excellent. That's quite a boy you've got there. What's his name? Eh? The thing is, we're creating a new range for the young consumer, and we need young what's his name's expertise. How do you fancy creating your very own range of the ultimate practical jokes, eh? We'd call them the Menace Collection. Wow! You want me to design jokes? Exactly. You see, we've been having some problems with our prototypes. Cast your expert eye over them, young man. We tried to upgrade the squirty flower by inventing the squirty bouquet. <laughs> Certainly wet enough, but difficult to direct. Hmm. I see the problem. Let's see how good a golfer you are. What's his name? <laughs> As you see, our exploding golf balls don't always work. <laughs> I see. I'm sure I can improve that lot. Excellent. You have full access to my design team. A good man. Thanks for bringing young What's-His-Name to my attention. Oh, by the way, can you get hold of a pair of tartan trousers and a diamond checked sweater? Yes, I think so. Good. Then you must join me at the golf club on Sunday. Me? At the golf club? Wow, I, I, I mean... Of course, Mr. Scrimp. Get ready for joke number one, Mr. Scrimp, which Walter's kindly volunteered to test. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Time to give each plant its daily drink. Oh, I see. A new bush. Hmm. Father must have planted it. It's <laughs> 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 I think you'll find the squirty bush out wet, the squirty bouquet. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, bravo. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello, a, a spherical object approaching me from a, from a westerly direction. Oh, I can't resist it. Exploding golf balls. Ha! I take things to the max. <laughs> I love the added helping of Green Gunge. <laughs> A master stroke. Well, what do you think of my outfit? Well, I do. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, you should have seen that lad of yours, what's his name? He's really coming up with the goods. All we need now is one top of the range joke and we're ready. Ready? Ready for what? Ready to open our first Menace Collection joke shop right here in Beano Town. I'll rent this place to some chap called Ho Ho or He He or something. You mean Mr. Ha Ha? That's the fellow. Anyway, we're going to close him down, then reopen as our very own joke shop. But Mr. Ha Ha's been there for years. Exactly. Time he got another job. But... So put your thinking cap on. I want to see something really special. <laughs> and I'll see you at the golf club on Sunday, what's his name? Mike Minasha, I think I must be dreaming. <laughs> so, you found out that Mr Scrimp wants to close you down. How, how did you know that? Cos I'm the one who's inventing the jokes for the new store. Oh, no. Oh, yes. 
I come up with a knockout practical joke, you'll lose your shop. If I don't, I won't get me dream job. And poor Dad won't get to the golf club. But, but, practical jokes are my life. Imagine never smelling another steak bomb, never feeling the tingle of a hand buzzer, never scaring Walter with a jumping spider. There must be a way out. Hang on. Nasha, get Curly and Pie Face for a treehouse meeting. Top priority. Yes. So that's the problem. To put Scrimp off pranks for life, we need to come up with the mother of all practical jokes. It's got to be the biggest, best practical joke ever. What about a mega loud whoopee cushion? Or a super stinky stink bomb? Or a turbo powered space hopper? But wait, imagine if you will, not just a whoopee cushion, not just a stink bomb, not just a space hopper, but all these things rolled into one bouncy castle. The three in one. This is the ultimate, Mr. Scrimp. The greatest of all practical jokes. Mm. Looks just like an ordinary bouncy castle to me. But it's so much more. Really? Presenting the three in one. One, two, three. Three awesome gags in one. I see. Well, it sounds good, but I have to see it in action. All I can say is it would take a brave man to try it out. A brave man, eh? Hmm. How about you? What's his name? Oh, no, uh, Mr Scrimp. I, I really think you should have the honour. Oh, well, uh, all right. Uh, here goes. Practical jokes could be this dangerous. Oh, the project's off. Finished. Finito. But it, no buts, what's his name? Oh, jokes like this would ruin the company. Oh, so does that mean my invitation to golf's withdrawn? Eh? Not at all. Well, it turns out Scrimp's not going to close me down. Thanks to the three in one. And you've given me a great idea for a mini version. The Menace Ball. <laughs> Watch, listen and smell. <laughs> Plenty more ideas where that came from, Mr Ha Ha. What a brilliant day. Wonder how Dad's enjoying his game of golf. Keep up, what's his name? Come on, man! <laughs> yes, Mr. Scrimp. Of course, Mr. Scrimp. 